hello everyone in last video lecture you have seen how to analyze any given clogged sequential circuit okay with the help of b flip flop today we will analyze some more examples with the help of jk or t flip flop okay this is your circuit and you have to analyze this by using jk flip flop and for this again you need to recall your characteristics equation of jk flip flop what is the characteristics of jk flip flop qn plus 1 is j q dash plus k dash q okay so in this case there are two flip flops so two output of flip flop ab here output z or y is not given so we will not consider that output y first determine value of j what is what is j this is what this is your b and this is j a j is b okay similarly k b x dash k a b x dash now j a this is x dash okay k b is nothing this k b is a x or x okay now we will write down, write down characteristics equation of j k flip flop j is nothing j a plus or you can say a t plus 1 is j q dash a plus k dash q a so it will be a dash b okay and q a is what q a is a q b is b and j is what j a is what b okay just write down value here value of j it is what b okay this is b b a dash this is b a dash and what is k a dash k a dash it is b x okay just write down value here you will get a dash b plus a b dash this a dash b plus a b dash this is nothing this is x o r operation a x o r b okay and this is a x this is your a x so j a is b a dash plus b x dash b x dash whole dash b x dash whole dash is nothing b plus b dash plus x into a just apply de morgan theorem you will get this similarly find out t t1 j b q b dash plus k dash b q b just put the value j b j b is nothing it is x dash so this x dash and q b dash is what q b dash is b dash next k dash b what is k dash b this is a x or x so write down a x or x is nothing and k b so k dash b will be x in or a dash x dash plus a x so a dash x dash into b so a x into b so this will be the b t plus 1 now with the help of these equations we will draw the transition table so there are again eight combination from 0 0 to 1 1 because there are two inputs a uh, there are sorry two present state ab because two flip flops are given and one input x now what is the value at 0 0 one value of x is 0 what will be a plus a plus is this now write down this value just put value a b and x from here okay you will get the value of a b and j k and j b k b these are the equation you will get this table okay when 0 0 
x is 0, a is 0, this a plus will come 0, then b plus this will come 1, okay. j it is b, so it will be 0, this j b is x dash, so this will be x dash again 1, 0 complement 1. Next j a, sorry j k is 0, k is b x dash, 0 complement 1, 0 complement 1, 1 into 0, 0. Similarly, k b, k b is what a x or x, a x or x. So, 0 x or 0, 0. Similarly, you can find out value for all the given possible combinations. Just put the value in these equations, you will get these values. Okay. Now, with the help of this table, we will find out a state diagram. How will you draw the state diagram? When 0, 0, where it is going into 0, 1, when x equal to 0. So, at x equal to 0, it is going into 0, 1. When x equal to 0, it is going into 0, 1. When x equal to 1, it is going in same state 0, 0. Okay. For 0, 1, it is going into where? First try this. 0, 1, it is going into 0, 1, it is going into 1, 0, when x equal to 1. When its value is 0, 0, 1, it is transition into 1, 1 from 0, 1 from 0 1 it is going into 1 1 when x equal to 0. Similarly, when x equal to 1 it is going into 1 0. Similarly, you can find out for 1 0 when its value is 1 it is going in same state this when 1 0 when x is 0 it is going into 1 1 it is going into 1 1 for 1 1 when its value is 1 it is going into same state 1 1 when x equal to 0, it is going from 1 1 to 0 0, from here it is going to here. Okay, this is your state diagram of this given clogged sequential circuit or this is nothing, this is your logical diagram, okay, logical diagram of your clogged sequential circuit. Okay, now, we will see one more example by using T flip flop. Suppose, this is your circuit and you have to find out the state transition table and logic uh, and state diagram with the help of this logical diagram or this clogged sequential circuit. Again, you need to recall your T flip flop characteristics equation. What is the characteristics equation of T flip flop? It is Q n plus 1 is T x or q n. Okay. Here y is given, so we will consider this y. If it is not given, then we will not con consider. What is T? It is B x, T a it is B into x, T B is what? x, okay, this x. And what is y? y is a into b. So, can you differentiate whether this is example of Millet machine or More machine. In Millet machine, output depends upon present state as well as input x, but in More machine, output depends upon only present state. So, you can see from here, okay. this a b, y equal to a b, it is independent of x, y does not depend upon x. So, it is not function of x. So, it is example of your More machine. Okay. In More machine, if output, if input changes, output does not change. But in Millet machine, if input changes, output also changes. Now, what is the 
characteristic equation characteristic equation of axior gate uh, characteristic equation of t flip flop is axior gate okay a t flip flop a plus yeah a t plus 1 you can say t a axior q a t a q a dash plus t a dash q a now put the value here okay when you will put value from here t a is nothing it is g a t a is g x okay and q dash is what a dash Q A is what A. Now put from here. Q da T A is what G X. Okay, this is your G X. Okay, so this G X and this Q dash. This is A dash. A dash G X. Now, what is this? T A dash Q A. T A dash is nothing. B X whole dash. Okay, B X whole dash into A. B X whole dash into A. Now you can apply De Morgan's theorem. B X whole dash. B X whole dash is nothing. It is B dash plus X dash. So I am writing in S O P form instead of P O S form. I am writing in S O P form. So A dash B plus A X dash will come. B dash B X whole dash is B dash plus X dash and multiply this by A. So A B dash plus A X dash plus A dash B X. Now all are in S O P form. Okay. Similarly, find for T B. The same thing. T B T B is nothing. What B? So B X or X X or B or B X or X. Now draw the transition table or state die state table. Okay, there are two present state A and B and one input. So total possible combination are zero zero two one one one. Now just write down value of A B and X in this equation. Okay, in these equations, just you need to put the value of A B and X. You will get value of A B T A T B and Y. Y is A B. Just write down the value, and you will get these values. What is output Y? Output Y is A X O R B. Okay, A X O R B zero zero one one zero. Sorry, one one zero zero. First zero zero, then so a x o r b, sorry a dot b. This is not a x o r b. This is a b. Zero into zero 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 into one zero zero into one zero zero one into zero zero one into zero zero one into one 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 into one one. So you can see from here, if x is zero, present state is one, output is one. Okay. If x is one, when present state is one one, again output is same. So this is example of your Moore machine. Okay, in this case output, okay, does not change when input x changes. Now we will draw the we will draw the state diagram. Okay. Just leave it. Before that, you can see what is the basic difference between Millet and Moore machine. Okay, in Millet machine, this is your example of Millet machine. Uh, this is example of Moore machine. In Millet machine, suppose this example. If x is zero, output is one, and present state is one one. When x is one, present state is one one, it is changing. One two zero. Similarly, here changing one two zero. So in Millet machine, output changes when input changes. But in case of Moore machine, the same table, which we derived from previous circuit, okay, using T flip flop, in this, both value are same. Either x equal to zero or one. Similarly here, similarly here, similarly here. So this is example of your what Moore machine, okay. In output, in this output does not change with. input 
now we will draw the state diagram now one more thing you need to remember in case of more machine we will write down output here okay output here not x upon y it will be state upon output like this this is the same circuit this is the same which we derived from here when x when x equal to 0 okay at 0 0 it is going into 0 0 when x equal to 1 it is going into 0 1 value both are same so i am writing here when x is 0 it is going into 0 0 same state and this is value of y y is 0 okay when it is 1 value of x is 1 it is going into 0 1 okay similarly you can see from here for 0 1 when 0 1 it is going into 0 1 same state when x is 0 when 0 1 and input is 1 it is going into 1 0 next state 1 0 and output is same 0 0 so when 0 1 it is going into same state when x is 0 when its value is 1 x value is 1 it is going from 0 1 to 1 0 and output is 0 similarly in this case 0 when x is 0 it is going in same state when x equal to 1 it is going into 1 1 ok last you can see when 1 1 when a b is 1 1 it is going into 1 1 ok it is going into 1 1 when x is 0 and output is 1 again here output is 1 so you can write down 1 here when x is 0 it is remaining in same state when x is 1 from 1 1 it is going into 0 0 this is your state diagram of what your t flip flop circuit Okay, this is the basic difference between Millet and Morey machine. In Millet machine, we will write down x upon y means input upon output here, okay, where here. But in case of Morey machine, we will write down state upon output. We will write down here. Why? Because in both cases, either x equal to 0 or x equal to 1, output remains same. Okay, it is all about your today lecture. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.